Dear students, in this session of software engineering, we will discuss about the structure charts. We will discuss about objectives of structure charts, basic building blocks of structure charts, difference between structure chart and flow charts, and we will discuss about the creation of structure charts, and in last we will discuss about the some examples of creation of structure charts. What are structure charts? Structure chart is a graphic depiction of the decomposition of the problem. Structure chart illustrates the partitioning of module into submodules. Structure charts are used to show the communication between the modules. Structure chart show the control and data flow between the modules. And these structure charts represent the hierarchical structure of modules. Structure charts help the programmer to divide the problems into smaller parts so that the problem can be easily understood. And it is used as a tool to help in the software design. In the design stage, the structure chart is drawn and is used by the clients and the designers to communicate between them. There are three main components of structure charts. These are modules and the connection between the modules and communication between the modules. The basic building blocks of structure charts. The basic building blocks includes a rectangular box. It means a rectangle represents the module. A module is a function or set of functions referred by name. Arrow pointing downwards at angle represents the function call or module being invoked. An arrow connecting the modules implies that during program execution the control is passed from one module to another module in the direction of connecting arrow. And third symbol is arrow with circular tail. This is called data element and can be passed from one module to another for communication. Arrow with shaded circular tail. It represents the control element. It allows the module to take decision on the data element. Diamond box. It is used for indicating the decisions. Depending upon the decision, the module can be invoked. Arc with arrowhead. It represents the iteration. The number of modules that come within the loop shown by number of arrows invoking the modules. All these building blocks or symbols of structure charts are discussed in detail. First is rectangular box. The module is represented by a rectangle. A module is a function or set of functions referred by name. In the figure, the module get valid employee number is represented by a rectangle. There are different types of modules. First is a control module. The module at the top in the figure is called the root module or sometimes called as control module. Subordinate modules. The modules can be subordinate module. In the figure, the modules M1 and M2 are the subordinate modules and these are also represented by rectangles. Library modules. The module is usually represented by rectangle with double edges. Libraries comprises the frequently called modules. When the module is invoked by many other modules, then it is made into the library module. Second symbol is arc, uh, arrow pointing downwards at angle or it is also called as module invocation arrows. Arrow pointing downward at an angle represents the function call or module being invoked. An arrow connecting the, the two modules implies that during program execution, the control is passed from one module to another in the direction of the connecting arrow. By looking at the structure chart, one cannot say whether the module calls another module once or many times. Also, by looking at the structure chart, one cannot say order in which the modules has been invoked. In the figure, module 
maintain customer record invokes three sub modules that is get customer record validate customer record and print customer record next uh, symbol is uh, used for, for data couple arrow with circular tail is called as the data couple or data element and it can be passed from one module to another module for communication the direction of arrow shows the movement of the data element in the figure it is shown that the module get customer record can send the data couple or data element that is customer record to the invoking module that is maintain customer record so the data element customer record is represented in the figure with arrow with circular tail another symbol is used for control couple arrow with shaded circular tail is called the control couple or control element it allows the module to take decisions in the figure it is shown that the valid flag that is valid customer number is sent by the module validate customer number to the invoking module that is display customer number diamond box diamond box is used for indicating the decisions and depending upon the decision one of the sub modules can be invoked in the figure it is shown that module print valid customer num number takes the decision based on the flag that is control couple or valid customer number whether to print the customer number or to print an error message based on this decision the relevant module can be invoked that is if the customer number is valid then the print customer number module is invoked otherwise the module print error message is invoked another symbol is arc with arrowhead arc with arrowhead represents the iterations a loop around the control flow arrows denotes that the re respective modules are invoked repeatedly the number of modules that come within the loop is shown by the number of arrows invoking modules in the figure it is shown that three sub modules that is get customer number validate customer number and print customer number are invoked repeatedly by the print valid number module this this figure shows the layered design approach and a poorly layered design approach in any structure chart there should be one or one and only one module at the top that is called the root in figure m1 is the uh, root module or control module there should be at most one control relationship between any two modules in the structure chart that is if a module a invokes module b then module b cannot invoke module a the layer design and poorly layer design is shown in the figure next we will discuss about the difference between structure chart and flow chart flow chart represents the flow of control or flow of logic but it is difficult to identify the different modules of program from its flow but the, whereas structure chart identify the different modules of the software flow charts do not show the data exchange between the different modules but the structure chart represent the data exchange between the modules structure chart creation steps first depict the relation of modules from top to bottom second step involves conceptualization of the main subtasks that must be performed by the program to solve the problem step 3 focus is given on each subtask and conceptualizes that how each subtask can be broken into smaller tasks step 4 once the structure chart is designed then the bottom up implementation of each module take place to understand about the structure chart let us first design the program 
to read the three characters and sort these characters in ascending order. To draw the stru structure charts for the set problem, the following steps are performed. Take three inputs as character 1, character 2 and character 3. In second step, construct the input output diagram as shown in the first figure. The figure involves input that is diff uh, three characters, processing, processing involves prompt for characters, accept three uh, characters and sort three characters. Output involves display of three characters. Next step is group the activities into two main activities. Read three characters and sort three characters. And last step is in the last, uh, last step, structure chart is created as shown in the figure. There are two modules that is uh, read three characters and sort three characters. These are represented by rectangle and there is data element which are shown by character one, character two, character three and sorted characters are returned to the read three characters module from the sort three characters module. Let us consider another example to illustrate the structure charts which involves designing the program to print the sum and multiplied values of two given numbers. In the figure, it is shown that there is a main module or main function which is represented as rectangle the module is called control module and this is also called as root module. In the figure, there are three subordinate modules or submodules that is addition of numbers, multiplication of numbers and printing of numbers. All the three modules are represented as rectangle in the figure. In the figure, A, B are the numbers which are defined in the main module or main function of the program. The number A, B are the data elements and is represented as arrow with circular tail. In the figure, first the addition of number is invoked by the main function or module. The values of data couple that is A and B which are defined in the main function are sent to the addition of numbers module. The value of sum of two numbers is returned by the module that is addition of numbers and the added value is returned in the variable that is sum. The direction of sum data element is from module addition of numbers to the main module or main function. Next, the function multiplication of number is called by the main function or the module. The values of data couple that is A and B which are defined in the main function are sent. Then the multiplied value is returned by the module that is multiplication of modules and is returned in the data element that is mult. The direction of data element mult is from module multiplication of numbers to the main function or main module. Finally, the function printing of number is called by the main function or main module. The values are sent as data couple that is a, b, sum and mult from the main function or module and is printed by printing of numbers module. This is shown in the figure. Students, if you have not seen the previous videos of this channel, then there is a link of playlist of all the previous videos.